Today we will introduce how to use Slamtech RP LiDAR Roast Package in Roast 2. This tutorial will be divided into four parts. Firstly, how to install Roast 2. Secondly, how to download and compile RP LiDAR Roast Package. Thirdly, connect to RP LiDAR. And finally, how to run RP LiDAR Roast Package. Hey there! Let's dive into installing Roast 2. First of all, open the official Roast 2 tutorial and press Ctrl plus Alt plus T to open a terminal. Before we begin, we need to make sure we have the right language environment set up. Use the locale command to check the setting and update the package list and install the necessary language support. Then configure the language environment to English and update it. Then set up some environment variables. Finally, type the locale command to verify the settings. To set up the source, please ensure that the Ubuntu Universe repository is enabled. Now we need to add the Roast 2 GPG key with apt. Next, add the Roast 2 software source to your system. Finally, update the package sources. Upgrade your installed packages. And then install the Roast 2 desktop version. For Ubuntu 22.04, humble version, use this command. We're using Ubuntu 20.04, Foxy version, so replace Humble in the above commands with Foxy to install the corresponding Roast 2 version. This step may take a bit of time, so please be patient and wait for a moment. Look, Rose 2 is now installed and ready to go. All right, let's dive into installing and compiling the RP LiDAR Rose package. First things first, we want to make sure we have the necessary tools to compile by running the following command. Now let's head over to the home page of the Slamtech RP LiDAR Roast package. And make sure to select the Roast 2 branch. Use make directory command to create the source folder and navigate to the path. Before we start cloning, let's ensure we have the git tool ready. If you don't already have it, no worries, run the following command to install. Next, navigate to the source directory and clone the repository. Once the download is completed, Let's first enable those essential environment variables. To simplify the process, consider using the echo command to directly append ROS environment variables to your Bashik file. This nifty trick ensures that every time you open a terminal, the ROS environment is automatically loaded. No need for manually typing in the source command. Simply run source command to make those changes take effect. 
Now let's jump into the exciting part, compiling. Run the Kalkan command to build package. If you see this output, that's the green light. Your compilation is a success. Let's kick things off by connecting the LiDAR device. Now if you're using a virtual machine, you might see a prompt asking whether you want to connect the USB device to the host or the virtual machine. In this case, go ahead and select Virtual Machine. Once the LiDAR is connected, it's time to check if everything's in order. We'll use the display message command to peek into the kernel messages. And guess what? The LiDAR is successfully connected to the virtual machine and it's recognized as TTYUSB0. But there's a catch. We need to tweak the permissions for this port. Currently, it's not readable or writable for third-party users. We want to change that and make it accessible by using chmod666 command. After modifying the permissions, the LiDAR is good to go for your own use. Now that we've got the permissions sorted, it's time to fire up our PLiDAR ROSE. First, let's source the environment to make sure everything's in sync. Now, depending on your LiDAR model, you'll choose the appropriate command. In this tutorial, we're using the S2 LiDAR as an example, but feel free to replace it with your specific LiDAR model. You'll now see the point cloud results generated by the LiDAR. You can have a little fun by covering the LiDAR with your hand or giving it a gentle shake to see how the point cloud responds. If you see changes in the point cloud, that means the RP LiDAR ROSE package is up and running smoothly. Have a blast exploring and using it. Enjoy!